Hi, we're here in San Francisco at the 50th edition of the Optical Fiber Communications Conference, where the industry's experts gather to share the latest advances in optical networking. At Nokia, fresh off our acquisition of Infinera, our experts took the stage to talk about the industry's directions and how Nokia is going to continue leading the way. Now, the biggest theme for the event was clearly artificial intelligence. The impact is having both on networks, the need for incremental bandwidth, data center growth, and how we can help network operators overcome those challenges with our innovation and optical connectivity solutions and, and overall network infrastructure solutions. Great question. There's a lot of evolution in the optical networking space right now, but three main topics that have to be top of mind for everyone. First is the massive growth in bandwidth. Whether because of AI, moving huge training data sets around or moving inference results to where they need to go, whether because of movement to workloads to the cloud, or just the continued rapid growth of residential broadband, massive pressures on capacity. So that's the first one. Second is power. Power is increasingly becoming a limitation, mostly seen with data centers, but not only. And everything that gets done to take power out of the optical network gives more room for computation. And finally, we're getting close to the limit of what we can cram onto a single wavelength. So now, and thus a single fiber, so now we need to look at how we get more across the entire network, more fibers making different use of them. Yeah, you know, couldn't be better timing that as the networks come together with AI, the number of data centers growing, the, the pure bandwidth growing across the network, it all comes down to the bill of materials of what's building the network. What's building the network in access, in IP, and in optical goes all the way down to the chip level. In many cases, the chip driving Moore's law for you know less dollars per bit, less power per bit across the network is all driving towards Nokia innovation. It starts at the chip level, gets packaged in nice open, open hardware, and then in agile software that drives lowest cost per bit, lowest power per bit, greatest agility. In this wonderful wave, we are the leader in this space, and it's time for us to step ahead in the advent of AI and the advent of the Internet of Things. At the end of the day, it makes the industry healthier. So the optical industry was largely fragmented for most of the past I don't know, maybe a decade or so. You know, as a lot of companies sort of spurred into the optical industry, had little market share here and there. But we get with the Nokia acquisition of uh, Infinera is a more sizable player. And that actually creates a healthier market because now we have scale. So now we have more innovation. We have more money to fund for future R&D projects and create new new items and new optical equipment that will benefit the customers. Everything right now in networking in the industry is about AI. Um, and, and optics, it became very quickly apparent that optics for AI is, is, a, is a massive trend. It's, it's essential for AI to work. And so what we're seeing is, is just massive amount of innovation, initially aimed at the hyperscalers to uh, build these networks to, to deliver AI and, and on these models. And it's a very real trend, it's happening now. Um, there's another big component of that, which is, the, um, which is the carriers who haven't really played a role yet in the trends for AI, but it's coming and they're a big market. I think the interesting uh, opportunity, but also the, the challenge for the combined Nokia is the fact that you are one of the very few companies in the world who can address both of those markets, the hyperscaler piece and the, and the carrier piece. And, and without the combination, uh, Nokia was not able to do it. So it's, it's a big opportunity, but uh, it is the challenge that the company needs to face. This year's OFC was just the beginning for Nokia. Stay connected with us as we share updates on our leadership, insights, and join the conversation to learn more.